your assessment phase, you'll be completing a complete dental chart on every patient. You can access that dental chart by clicking on the chart tab on the toolbar or in the upper left hand cabinet door above the computer. Prior to dental charting, I would have completed the patient's radiographs and hopefully taken the intraoral camera photos as well. As those images are taken, they will be assigned a number. And then when I come to my dental chart, when I click on the tooth that I'm charting, the images will populate in the, um, on the left side. So for this patient, I don't have any radiographs. This is just a demonstration um, file. So we're going to look at what a dental chart may look like utilizing the tabs on the right side. So I'm going to say that this patient has number 1 and 32 that were removed years ago. And so those teeth are now missing. You'll notice I clicked on the conditions tab. If you're unable to find uh, what you're looking for in the other tabs, then the conditions tab has a list of 33 different conditions that could be used for any given tooth. I'm going to click on 16 and 17 and say that this patient has these two wisdom teeth impacted. Now we're going to work our way through the tabs and I'm going to just throw some examples on some of these um, teeth. I'm going to say that tooth number two has an existing sealant. Now because sealants are proposed and completed by hygiene and that's a code that you need to be very familiar with, we do have that alongside of our hygiene codes because this will be treatment that will be proposed and completed in our clinic. So you can click any teeth that have um, sealants, whether they're existing or proposed. Click your sealant and either propose or state that the sealant is existing. So we're going to say that this patient has an existing sealant on number two. And we're going to propose a sealant on number three. Though it may be difficult to tell in the video, the existing sealant has charted with a solid blue S and the proposed sealant has a blue S with red lines through it. So I know that that sealant has not been done yet. I can also confirm that by looking down here in the dialog box and see that tooth number two has an existing sealant and tooth number three has a proposed sealant. This proposed sealant will show up when I do my treatment plan and will show the $54 amount. We will also put the sealants along with the other hygiene care that's proposed in the treatment plan and provide the informed consent for the patient based on that treatment. Along this side, we have our composite fillings, amalgam, crown, bridge, endo, dentures, implant, other. Other is where you'll find the gold inlays and where you will find the um, retainers. The retainers are very, very common to see on patients. So if this patient had a lingual retainer, I would click the teeth that are connected by the retainer, click other, and choose which one. Is it bonded each tooth or is it canine to canine? It's existing, and it's going to throw the bar across the linguals. All right, now let's play with each one of the tabs. We're going to say tooth number four has a composite. So I'm going to choose that that is a posterior tooth. And here I get to choose, am I proposing treatment, which we do not do here at TJC, or is this treatment existing? Click detailed surfaces and see how detailed you can get with the fillings. Ideally, we have the filling looking exactly like it does in the patient's mouth. So we're going to say tooth number four has an MOD existing. Tooth number six will put a class five composite. Now this one is now an anterior tooth. Buckle class five existing. Let's say that eight and nine have labial veneers. Now under the crowns, make sure you're reading carefully your options. Do we have a porcelain fused to metal crown, which is very popular, an all porcelain crown, full gold crown, 
open face gold crown, prefabricated stainless steel crowns. You must choose if this is on a permanent or primary tube. And we have the labial veneers. We will say that tooth number 14 has an amalgam filling. So you're going to choose the amalgam and choose the surfaces and existing. So everything you need to chart the patient is going to be here on the right hand side for the most part and use the drop down menu. Even when you're doing competencies, these drop down menus will populate exactly what you need to be selecting. Now let's do an implant. We'll say tooth number 19 is an implant. So we're going to click implant and we're going to put on the post. That will automatically take the tooth out and then we're going to put an implant crown. We'll do a porcelain fused to metal implant crown. Those are very popular. Now in order to do a bridge, we're going to do a bridge here on the left side that can be a little trickier. We're going to take out, we'll take out number 30. We'll say that tooth has been extracted. And we are going to crown, we're going to make abutment crowns for tooth number 31 and 29. Now when you're doing an abutment, you need to make sure you connect the bridge to the correct side. So I'm going to correct the, connect the bridge to the mesial side for this tooth. For 29, I'm going to be doing the distal side. We have a drop down menu, distal, existing. And now I'm going to make my missing tooth a pontic. And you can see there it took my roots away. So this would be a bridge to do a root canal. We'll click back over here on number 18. We're going to click endo. And here you get to choose is this an anterior tooth, a bicuspid, or a molar. You can also choose which root. So if a root canal has failed, this is where selecting the correct root would become important. So we're going to say this patient has an existing root canal and a full gold crown. Again, in order to do an accurate dental chart, you're going to use the tabs on the right side. You're going to include the sealants and any conditions that you see in the condition drop-down box. If you are seeing a child or mixed dentition patient, in order to change them all to primary, if it's a younger child that has more primary teeth than permanent teeth, you can click Select All and change them all to primary then you would select just the ones that are currently permanent. So say this patient is about eight years old. So we're gonna say this patient has permanent um, maxillary and mandibular incisors and that they have their six-year molars. So you're gonna click where the six-year molars will be erupting and then click permanent. And that will change it to mixed dentition. Now you'll notice the treatment I had in the previous chart still showed up. In a new patient mixed dentition, they would not have any treatment. So I'm going to select on change them all back to permanent and my dental chart is still there. Hope this was helpful.